kids and cadets welcome back to tommy time thanks for coming out hopefully we're going to have a successful video i've been working on this 2015 husky the yankee tango alpha 24 victor 48 we had discussed all the issues with this thing in the last video i kind of been plowing through on this machine i put the um, pto back on Yesterday, I have a, a backup here that I ordered, but I get, hopefully I don't need to put it on because I, I believe that one was rusty, the original one. Kind of notice the um, little hose here for the um, vacuum-operated fuel pump had some cracks in it, so I grabbed my Gorilla Glue and uh, let that sit overnight. When I first bought Gorilla Glue, it would um, harden on me. I, I found a, a tip from somebody online. They said, put it in the freezer, and that's always worked for me. Uh, take it out for a half hour at a room temperature, and it softens up, and you can use it. I use a, a Popsicle stick to apply it. So this will go back in the freezer. It prevents it from um, drying out. No matter how tight I would put the cap or put a piece of plastic over it and then the cap, air would always get in here and solidify it. If you put it in the freezer, you can use it over and over again. So my Mai Tai is slowly evaporating, if you can see that. About half the gas is evaporated out of this from yesterday. Want to discuss the uh, uh, oil filter. This is an original Briggs & Stratton. Went to uh, Bob the Oil Guy's website on one of the discussions is what's a replacement for these air, uh, oil filters. So the Super Tech ST 3614 is a, a replacement. The only thing you have to be concerned about is how much room you have for depth here, and I think this will work. Even with the plastic shroud in there, there's enough room for this ST 3614 to work. These are 388 each. If you buy these, you're probably going to pay 10 bucks for these oil filters, the original Briggs and Stratton filters. So this is a cheap alternative, the ST3614, or you could use a Fram. I think they're PH3614, same numbers. So that's that. I don't know if I'm going to do an oil change on this. This looks like it's been done, but I'll um, hand off the the uh, oil filter to my buddy. So I just went ahead and changed the um, fuel filter out because I didn't want to push all that crappy gas that was in the filter. Some of it just spilled on my arm and it was full of brown, brown liquid. So I'm pouring what's left in there and it's showing brown down there. So that needed to be changed. It's all caked up with brown shit. So the deal is what I want to do is um, put some fuel in the tank and run, run a little bit of fresh gas through the pump, clean out what's in the line. There's probably going to be some bad fuel in the line where it runs underneath the... Um, frame so let me do that I think I brought my um, little piece of hose in to match up a, a filter because so I have different size filters I had to get the right one to work this is a motorcycle filter with a wire screen so if you can see the job I did here on the cracked intake hose if you have a um, ambient air going into the line here you're not going to have a good 
pumping action if you're losing all your suction through a, a crack in the hose. So you guys keep looking at that. I'm going to try to grab the fuel, fuel line here. Okay, I got it. I know what it was. I was coming outside with the hose and the fuel filter and somebody showed up to buy a mower. I sold the Craftsman self-propel that I paid 30 for. It put a $30 cable on. It had 60 into it. Um, nice couple bought it for 180 No bag. I had it for 200 and they said, what about 180 and I I took the 180 cash so that was a fairly good deal I'm happy with that okay so if all goes right we get rid of the bad gas in the line I cleaned out the bad gas in the bottom of the bowl just by gravity feed. I'm crossing my fingers that this thing runs. Otherwise I'm going to cry in my soup and then hit it in a couple days and clean the carburetor if I have to. I spilled a lot of my non-ethanol with stable in it. Maybe put a gallon in here, just enough to reach the uh, pickup tube in the center of the tank. Kind of looking, yeah, that, that should be enough. That should be enough to get us going. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, crank this thing and let it fill into here for a minute. See, do we have everything hooked up? I got the belt on. I have the uh, electric PTO plugged into the harness. Got my dirty air filter. Got one of these coming from... Um, Two of them actually from uh, AliExpress, two new air filters. So let me get this thing to crank. I don't want to, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, maybe I got to be sitting down on it. Hope the battery isn't dead. Let me get up here and pretend I may have to hit the um, brake lever. Okay, it's it started with that little bit of gas that I flushed through. Okay, you guys see anything blow out of the hose? Nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Fill this thing up with root beer. So what are we going to do here? I was afraid that was going to happen. all that brown fuel and it plugged up my mesh screen son of a gun <sighs> you can't win for trying when you're working with Husqvarna
I know what the issue is. Are we even creating enough vacuum to, to pump this thing? It's always something. Mr. Cluck just took a nose dive. Okay, let's try to do a quick quick rectification here. I'm gonna undo the fuel line from up here. Try to turn this thing down and let it gravity feed down. That's the only real option I have right now. Unless you guys come up with something, but you better make it quick. Okay, there we go. We're pouring out the root beer. See that? If we've got a little bit of root beer, hopefully there's enough good gas behind it to let this thing start. So what do you think? This thing's got to be running to create enough vacuum to pump. Maybe it relies on a little bit of gas still in the bowl from the previous start. Oh, I just sent Mr. Cluck flying. I've been throwing him around. Poor guy. I won't do it again, I promise. I'm just going to go with it. And just cross my dirty little fingers that this thing has enough life in it to start. Okay. Well, we got more more root beer, son of a gun. I don't know. This is a shit show in the making. Oh, almost forgot your buddy. That would have been terrible. That would have been rotten of me. may do just to get the ball rolling is take a funnel pour some gas through here let it fill the bowl and, and give myself a flying chance what a shit show I expect smooth and steady operations in a shade tree environment and when it doesn't produce I get agitated. I get agita. Went through the plugs yesterday. They didn't look bad. Just wire brushed them, put them back on. Kind of noticed my plug wires were starting to arc out here on the tin, so I took some... Um, black tape and kind of reinforce where they were arcing out <clears throat> so trying to do as much as I can with this turd to give it a flying leap off of a off the cliffs of Dover
I just want this thing to start. I do have a backup um, fuel pump in the house. These are kind of all standard on these riders. I got a China Special in there. The, the issue with this could be goobered up with that brown snot. We may not have any pumping action. So hopefully that filled the bowl. I don't see anything leaking out of the solenoid. Let's try this again. It's working on the seat of my pants here. Okay, we got a little bit of action. burning through that bad gas. I'm looking at the clear filter and see uh, all that brownness. manually choking it here with the air vein. <sighs> I say we go down, give it another brown bleed here. Oh, just broke it. Too much force, so that, that kind of screwed my deal. I don't have any choice right now. I'm going to try to blast some compressed air through this crappy one and see how it goes. And then call it quits until I get the right filter. Okay, smells raunchy, really brown and stinky. I was uh, holding the end like this and let the uh, air blast through. I got to, okay, somebody just turned around in my yard. I thought they were here for a mower. I do have somebody on the way. Now they stopped. No, not me. They're looking for somebody else. Okay, this this isn't working out. Let me try to get the um, broken off piece. Hold on, I'm going to get some needle nose and try to get that. If it does start, I'll change out the filter. I just got to track down another one. I got a lot of small two-cycle filters, but the larger mower, rider mower size, I, I don't. The other thing I could do is steal one off of another rider. I've got four or five riders yet to fix. I'm sure there's a better 
filter on one of those. Okay, we just crack that plastic, kind of dig in the digging this thing out. Sorry, I I really thought I was making tracks on this thing, was all excited and ready to hear this thing run. And then it's just been a shit show. Try to just crack this thing like a broken egg and pick out the pieces. Make sure I get it all. I have this still some more in there. Grab my pick. Let gravity help me. Okay, there's more. How long was this stupid nipple? Urgh. I'm going to crush it again. Can't believe I'm messing with this thing. Trying to deal with the broken fuel filter. Okay, more, more pieces. <laughs> oh, I, I still see something down there. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Shit show galore. Where's my arrow? Something like that. This goes on the outside of the uh, plastic, but I didn't put all that on because I don't know if this thing's going to run. So I left it all bare and naked. Okay, let's let's try it again. Got all that varnishy brown shit all over my hands, and it stinks. Stinkometers at nine point five. <laughs> So we starving for gas or what? Yeah, my fuel fuel filter's not showing any large amounts of fuel. Let's throw some more in the tank. Give it another try with more fuel. If it um, doesn't do anything, I'm going to wait for this other uh, party to show up. I got, uh, what do I got? Four, five, five mowers left. These folks just took that 
self propelled for 180 the rest I have are just standard pushers okay I can see fuel now right here at the cap yeah plenty there's plenty of fuel in here now there should be no issue with this thing starting the only thing that it could be is maybe I didn't goober up the splits in the hose good enough or like I said the uh, fuel pump could be crappy I may run in and grab the secondary pump if we don't have luck right now I know we're not getting fuel. It should be uh, filling my clear filter here and it's, it's bone dry. It's just running on the fuel that was in there prior. Let me get the um, vacuum powered fuel pump. Okay, Southwest coming into town, bring in that money. So there's some numbers on here. Those are probably the uh, manufacturer of, of the uh, product. They're probably not the Briggs numbers. But they're all standard. You got a, an in and out and then the vacuum. So let's do some switchy switchy. Try to salvage this video. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna just take off fuel lines. Remove and replace, remove and replace. So there was some fuel dripping out of here. So it was getting to this point. So it is an exact um, copy. I can give you the original Briggs number. 808492 is what this thing came from. Makuni made it for him, made in Japan. 808492, but there's thousands of aftermarket companies making these. So something like that vacuum goes on this side the in line is there outbound here got your wet intake here your vacuum and then the outbound 